we brought her here to the ER here in San Angus because uh, we believed uh, she accidentally slipped on some rocks. She hit her wrist pretty hard on the rock, on a big rock. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog. I hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend because as for me, I got a, I'm gonna be doing a couple things today that um, are gonna be fun. We're gonna be doing it with a family of course, but unfortunately I got some bad news that just came in from my friend Spencer. So, but before we get into that, I wanna show you something that just happened today you guys and I'm really excited to finally reveal it. And take a look at this. All right, we got the babies. <laughs> yippee ki yay Look at that! You finally got babies that just hatched, you guys. Unfortunately, you might have remembered in my last video, you saw probably about five eggs. Unfortunately, one of those eggs, unfortunately, went bad. So, that was kind of a bummer. And, so, I was kind of disappointed. But, overall, four of the babies hatched out. So, there's something really interesting that I wanted to show you guys. Um, here, this is very interesting. I'm gonna show you which one is the smallest. I think this one's like the smallest baby right here. If you guys can see that. Oh nope, never mind. Okay, here we go. That's like the smallest baby here. And look over here. This baby is a lot. This is the biggest one of the clutch, you guys. Look at how girthy he is. That is a big baby. And you compare it to this. Look how little this one is. This is ridiculous. And these two here, they're probably about average size babies. So. That is really awesome that four of the babies managed to hatch successfully, no health issues whatsoever. So that is really, really good. So I think like I mentioned, um, I don't know, I didn't mention it. But I'm going to go ahead probably in the next couple hours and release these babies back into the wild. And uh, we're going to be doing some filming for my second channel, you guys. So I'll, I always have the link to my second channel down below. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And we're going to go ahead and release these babies here in a bit. And so uh, welcome back to the vlog. All right, we're off to the count to which fair again? Emmett County Fair. All right, the Emmett County Fair in Petoskey. You excited, Matthew? Yes or no? How about you, Max? Yup. Okay. Are we gonna get something to eat first, though, or? Um, I don't know. Either that, or we can find something there. Hmm. There's probably something for everybody there. Maybe. Get all full. Well, hopefully the fair will be a lot of fun. We're here at Burger King. They're not even busy. Who are? I said they're not even busy. That's what I said, huh? Oh. There's only a couple vehicles. Huh. That's pretty uh, interesting. Well, we just we picked the big This is the uh, small. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I guess we're all hungry, aren't we? Draws. Hold on the way. So. I'm probably gonna not be able to talk to you guys for a while because I'm gonna have a full stomach here in a bit. So. Who's hungry? Me. All right. Guess just one's on. one other person's just hungry.
What do you think? We're probably noisy. Uh, you heard it, but I started it up. Don't worry, Megs. I refuse to get used to it. Well, you're going to have no choice. And I still remember this day, I think. That's my next animal right there, guys. Beautiful lady. Nice, beautiful. And then ball Wow. He's got something else. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. That's a red eared slider right there, I just showed you right there. Can I, buy, can I purchase this animal? I don't know what, but I tell you what, this place is actually pretty good so far for me, so definitely a good way to end the day here, but. Now we gotta get onto that Muxer truck show. It's just right over these hills right here. I figure yeah, I give you guys a little break actually from um, the fairgrounds anyway. And we're gonna go ahead and feed a couple of my animals and I already fed one of them. But take a look at this though. That's right, Lucy is eating, I guess, basically her first pinky mouse in quite a while. Now this one's a little bit bigger, but it's not too big. It's basically the same size as other pinkies I feed them like to my children's python, Ellie, and of course Tyson, my albino checker garter. But for so far, this is a kind of a new challenge for Lucy. I guess this is kind of like an upgrade for her because basically I don't want to keep feeding her worms all the time. So hopefully this will be a little step up for her. And so far, she seems to be doing okay. Now don't get me wrong, guys. I, I am a bit nervous about this. So hopefully when she passes this, um, when she goes to the bathroom here in the next maybe 48, 72 hours from now, I just hope maybe she doesn't get clogged up, you know, because this can happen with baby snakes in a way, so. But, life, remember what uh, Jeff Goldblum said in Jurassic Park, life will, life finds a way, so. Regardless, now we gotta go ahead and feed my girl, Ariel. Unfortunately, Lucy could not swallow the pinky hole. She decided to regurgitate it back up, so I guess she's not fully ready yet. So I went on to feed my girl Ariel in here, and she is starting to munch down already. So go get it, girl. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and leave Lucy in her cage here for the next several hours, and maybe I'll feed her instead of a mouse. So I'll just go ahead and feed her a small cut up piece of a worm because that's one of her favorites, and it's a lot easier for her. So. Uh, so yeah, I guess she's not really ready for eating some mice yet, so not much we can do about it. So unfortunately guys, uh, we got some really bad news that came in and um, my mom, she accidentally did something to her nose again. So earlier today she had to go back down to Petoskey to get her nose checked for a couple hours, so we will not be doing the Monster Truck Rally show tonight, which is kind of a bummer to be honest, but there's really not much we can do, so... <laughs> I have to admit, you guys, the plans, you know, that we were going to do today, they're, they're going downhill fast. First, I wanted to go to the Paranormal Convention, and uh, that uh, was a complete total bust. And then, uh, we were going to go to a monster truck show later on to this, to this evening, and uh, guess what? Another downhill slope, so this is not really turning out to be a very good day, so, uh, but we will make plans, though. Starting uh, tomorrow, we are going to my grandma's for one more visit before... 
of my school year starts again, so anyway, I think um, I might just get a few cinematography, I mean, cinematography, I guess you could say that. Anyway, I'm probably going to get some of those shots, I guess, on the island. Not going to really vlog a whole lot there since you guys know I've been there so much this summer. So, yeah, unless maybe I could do a little bit of herping, though, that would be a little bit fun, but I don't know. So, hopefully, um, our plane to the island tomorrow doesn't go a complete bust. So, if that happens, that's three strikes, we're out. Okay, so we just made it to the ferry dock, but we're going to go ahead and take a quick look around. See what's in store here at the Detour Museum. Hey mom, <laughs> this is the largest freighter on the Great Lakes right now, the Paul de Gertha. Oh, Trigger. Trigger. How big? 1,013 feet. Okay. Yep, and the width of it they said is like 110 feet wide. Mm. The biggest freighter right now. The first Islander ferry that carried the cars. I wonder if this doll is possessed, guys. Because it does look kind of like it, but... I can't read cursive that good. That's very good cursive writing, but... I can't tell what it says. So... Oops. Was a little too close there, my bad. But anyway... I probably shouldn't have guessed this freighter, the Eugene Thomas. That's what it's called. All right, yep, we gotta watch out for trucks coming. Yeah. All right, we got the whole fam with us here. Are you guys hungry? Oh, yeah. All right, there, sounds good to me. Yeah. Levi, still put it back in the truck. Hey, buddy, this and is not a burger thing. Go put it back in the truck. Oh, oh, <laughs> you good? <laughs> you good? What? Those guys? What are you talking about? Well, everybody start coming back. I thought maybe this no, no, it's open. <laughs> All right. All right. We gotta go in and get some of Bring a carry in. All right. Okay, you guys, so you're probably wondering where I'm at right now. Um, we were getting ready to head out off the island here, but unfortunately things didn't go to plan, of course. And um, I'm gonna talk to you out here, because right now I'm outside the hospital, but I'm gonna be out here for a few minutes to talk to you. And um, 
um, while I guess I was out at the local library um, uploading a, a vlog for you guys. Uh, my mom came to pick me up and bring me back to go pick up my sister because we brought her here to the ER here in St. Agnes because uh, we believed uh, she accidentally slipped on some rocks at her behind her house and um, she hit her wrist pretty hard on the rock um, on a big rock and uh, she said it hurts so and when we looked at when I looked at it it almost looked like it was puffy you know it looked like she may have dislocated her wrist so sorry about that um so I don't know to be honest with you so right now it's nine o'clock at night so I just hope things are turning out okay they're gonna give her x-rays here so my mom went in there with her so um as you can see it is pretty really dark out you can tell so um I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and try and upload another video for my second channel so I just hope it's not something major hopefully she won't have to get surgery so but I, I can't say for sure that's all I could say but I think um I'm gonna actually probably wrap the vlog up here in a few minutes guys so I'm gonna go ahead and go back inside So what's the next day guys um turned out um my grandma did break her wrist uh it was official she put it got a little strap on it actually to help her keep her arm in balance there so um thankfully not, it could have been a whole lot worse but thankfully it wasn't so um like my grandma just went just left um my mom bring her back to the island so my grandma's probably going to get some rest for a while, so hopefully this doesn't happen again. But for you guys that don't know this, but my grandma now has broken, um, years ago actually broke her other wrist, believe it or not, on her right hand. And uh, now just recently she broke her other one on her left hand, so that's that's pretty bizarre that actually happened. But um, thank thankfully she is okay, so... Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here, so I want to thank you guys for tuning in to, for today's video. If you guys are new to my channel, you hit that subscribe button for me and turn on that notification bell too, and um, make a comment down below and tell me how your guys' weekend was, and uh, uh, tell me, listen, send positive vibes also in the comments about my grandma, guys, and um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and I promise you guys, I'm going to see you next week.